Grand Rising Scorpios, and welcome back for another Octabulous Love reading. <laughs> Shout out to all of the beautiful, amazing Scorpios of the world. I just felt like a jigger with it. I said, shout out to the all the Scorpio. Shout out to the all the Scorpio. Shout out to the all the Scorpios of the world. Shout out to the Scorpio. Shout out to the Scorpio. Shout out to the Scorpios of the world. Yeah. They got the love thing. 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 Shout out to the Scorpios of the world, cause they know they got the love thing. They got the love thing. They got the love thing. They got the love, love thing. The Scorpios love thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't come for me, honey, because I'm a Scorpio and I love my creativity because it just makes it better for you. So Grand Rise, and I send you sunshine, honey. You better be yourself. You better live your life. What you waiting for? You're waiting on things while the life is passing you by. Yeah, yeah. I got bars. Okay, look, don't come for me because I got bars. I guess it's a Scorpio thing. Hmm. Well, I tell you what, even if you may have cellulite, you may have an extra junk in your trunk. You may have a little wiggle to your stiggle, uh, but you still need to love yourself because you're you. And if you don't embrace the beauty of you, the good, the bad, and the not so lovely, then who else is? But this is a very, very magical time for Scorpios, as it always is. Shout out to you, beautiful, amazing Scorpios. Thank you for returning to this channel. I love your energy. I appreciate you. You are totally, totally thought of. It ain't just brown eyes, you know, you know, capping and puffing your head up. No, you know, to know a Scorpio is to love a Scorpio and you'll never, ever be the same one way or the other <laughs> after meeting a Scorpio. So congratulate you for just being who you are. You are everything, honey. You are a divine body that's here to spread the love and everybody can't handle it. But it's time for them to because it's time to go deeper. So shout out to you, beautiful, amazing Scorpios, y'all. Now, I did a live on Patreon. Now, I don't know what happened, but at least that video is up. That is a live video. And I want you guys who are already, you know, members of my Patreon, don't forget to check that reading out. Um, I'm going to find it in the and I probably place it in the description box below. Or if you're already a member on Patreon, then you could easily find it under Brown Eyes Intuition. So uh Shout out to you, beautiful, amazing Scorpios. Shout out to all of my beautiful, amazing moderators, okay? You got Mr. Love, 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 love. Our amazing uh, Dr. Love, we thank you for being an amazing moderator. To my beautiful, amazing Kimberly Michelle, I totally appreciate you, darling. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have Miss Verna Smith, darling. She is absolutely sophisticated with her stuff. She is a Scorpio Empress, boo. Thank you, darling. And last but certainly never the least is Phoenix the Rising because she rises above the ashes. She is indeed uh, otherworldly and other galactic. She is a divine being, okay? So it is a privilege to know her because she ain't even from here, just like the rest, I'm just saying. So shout out to you beautiful, amazing moderators. I don't know, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the air. Maybe it's because I got me a mic. Huh? I got me a mic, okay? I got me a mic. I had it the whole time, but I didn't think it would work until I tried it. Ain't that something? Sometimes you're not gonna know if it worked until you try it. I still got Amazon boxes in here yet, still that I ain't put together because I got to put it together. So. I got a microphone here. I got a, a tripod that I need to put together because I don't want to call nobody because sometimes when I call my brother, do y'all brother do y'all like this? But he started calling me by my middle name. Well, Renee, did you try? <laughs> so I think I'm going to challenge myself because sometimes I can put something together, but it seems like every time I put it together, it's not sturdy. It's wobbly. I don't know, but I, that is a good thing to challenge myself because it's just a tripod. I put tripods together and I just like, well, look at me, you know, so 
But yeah, but it sure would feel good, 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 good. If I had a man to do it, I'll somebody around here, baby, you got to do nothing. No, 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 don't do nothing. Don't do nothing. I said, don't you do nothing but stand there and breathe pretty. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he gonna say just breathe pretty. I could do that. Can you? I'm just gonna be like that. <sighs> yeah, I'll be like Superman, Superman. Oh, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> so yes, yeah, Scorpio, but check it out, Scorpio. This is a general, so it's not gonna resonate for everybody. So only take the part that fits and disregard the rest, Scorpios. You are tremendously loved because you are already loved. Remember, you have to already be the very thing that you are trying to attract. Okay, you got to be full of love. Don't let nobody pull you down. Don't let nobody dim your light because they're not the ones who uplift your light. You are. And sometimes you're going to have those days where you're affected by the energy. And, you know, give your time, give yourself time to have a, a, a not so happy day. But you don't reside in it. You, you know, you allow yourself to explore that emotion. Why you feel that way? Is it justified? Throw a temper tantrum, cuss, punch a pin, do whatever you have to do, but you release it and you leave it there. And then you turn to something positive, the way that you would rather it be, even if it means you're going in a totally different direction. Because remember, there are no limitations here. Only the limitations that we set, like in our mind, when you think you can't have it, but everybody around you getting it. No, you can't think like that. You got to think that you're just as good as anybody else. It ain't about them. It's about what you believe you can have, boo, because you can have it all, my Scorpios, yeah. 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 But you got to go deep. So check it out your next card after that, because it just this is coming. It's just coming. You got full moon in Gemini. Embrace the flow of life. Now you see this Gemini car, you see two people. I see twin flames. Maybe, maybe your your inner you, maybe allowing your inner you to become one with yourself, with the highest side of you, uh, running things. Because at any given time, we're going back and forth, aren't we? We're the most indecisive folks here because why? Because there's so many opportunities, there's so many options, there's so many lefts and rights and ups and downs and everything that it can become confusing. But you don't have to block that, just temperance it, manage it, you know, you know, be your own boss. It's almost like this is the ship. This, this, all of this is the ship and we're the captain running it. And we really have to look at it like we're the sh we're the captain, goddamn. I'm the captain of this vessel. We wanna take you on a cruise. Come around the way. We wanna play it for you. <laughs> you see you. Done of ten of entertainment. I did jam now. Jam, jam. To be musical pleasure, Scorpio pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Come along, pack your bags, get on up and jam, y'all. Come on, ride in the Scorpio. Come along and ride on the Scorpio vessel. Do you want to ride? Do you run around to the land of deep, to the land of deep, to the land of deep, 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 deep? <laughs> You're talking about Scorpio, God dang it. You have to act as such. <laughs> Why is your head down when you the deep? You're the death of anybody. Can't nobody be more theatrical than a Scorpio. Just use it to your advantage. That's all. See, new moon in Scorpio go deeper. I, that reminds me of uh, James Brown. I want to go high. Yeah. Huh, uh, uh, uh. I want to go deeper with you. All right, let's see what it says. Don't come for me, people, because I can be me. Can you be you comfortably? Because I remember once upon a time, I was shy. I was, man, no, 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 no. If you don't find yourself in whatever situation you are in, if you don't, if you cannot, 
find the strength to look at something more positive in any given situation, then you're already doomed because it starts with what you vision and your perception. And even in a pile of crap, you can still think of something beautiful. Let your mind create your reality, but make sure it's right because your mind is very, very powerful and it's going to create even the ugly. So it says, Scorpios, you're regaining control of a situation that cut deep. You've moved through your fears and can now see where this issue has come from. Now isn't the time to gloss over the facts. Rather, it's time for you to face your darkest concerns and go deeper, honey. Your situation may need to crumble before it can be renewed. Magic is called for. It's crucial to stay strong now. Actually, it's time to reach for true communion with your partner. Financially, this is a blessed time to work with someone on a joint venture. It's time to release a grudge. Ooh, we. And you know it's time to release the grudge because check it out. Look, look at y'all. Y'all trip a look. Your overall energy, Scorpio, is justice. Check it out, Scorpio. Your overall energy in my clarifiers is justice. So what's up with that? What that mean? Huh? Making peace. <laughs> you got two ancestors over here telling you the same thing. Nah, 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 Scorpio. Nah, 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 nah. God dang, you'd have been mad long enough now. You'd have froze them. They didn't the spirit and revitalized because you didn't leave them with no pulse because you just don't forget. You act like I ain't human like you. I got feelings and I'm, 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 I can't. It's like you on, you're not giving somebody an inch. But I get it, though. But I, I don't know. I just guess that people just feel like Scorpio is so theatrical. You're so dramatic. But they don't understand because they probably because see what the reason why people feel like you're over dramatic is because they don't go deep like you. They're not deep like you. They surface level folks. <laughs> They're surface level folks. And you are at the depths of the ocean sea. You live in the depths comfortably, but you got all them folks peeking down at you say, yeah, yeah, you look good, but I ain't coming down. Uh-uh, no, I don't know what's down there. No, I can see what's up here, but I am not coming down there. And you like, okay, well, I come up there <laughs> and you bring your deep self up to the surface. They still can't hang because you still going to expect them to go deep. And most people, it's not because they can't, it's because they are afraid. They are afraid what they may discover in the depths of their own soul. You know, but Scorpio, look at that old ugly side, honey. And they embrace it because it's all a part of it. It's just the only one that's going to uh, serve you the most is the one that you cater to the most. You can let the other one with a way that don't serve you no purpose by not giving it your attention, not fueling it, not feeding it constantly, overfeeding. You mess around and let your problem bec become obese because you done fed it. Let it lose some weight. Let it just go on. Let it go find something somewhere else. If you start feeding something beautiful, you're going to have something beautiful. It's just as simple as that. Whatever you focus on is what you're going to manifest. But you got justice. Just, you got justice twice. OK, so it says the best time. OK, so wait a minute. This card is an especially good sign for matters of uh, related to, ooh, they is, ooh, Scorpio. Oh, my God. Y'all so deep. Don't y'all know that energy is deep? See? See, you got somebody's head swirling around. Y'all remember them cartoons when they bump their head and you see the birds spinning around in the corn, all in a circle around your head? They're spinning around in their head about you. Oh my God, Scorpio, if you think that you ain't in somebody's head constantly, it amazes me, y'all. It amazes me, and I'm not being ugly or prideful, but it amazes me how some Scorpios actually don't know how someone feel about them because they haven't showed it, they haven't heard it from them. But in that intuition, not only that intuition, the powerful, beautiful seeds that you sow. It's like when you get a Scorpio that's really into you, man, you not, I'm, I'm saying, no, nah, for real, for real, you don't get it. You, no, no, you say you do, but you really don't till you get it. You can't handle it, okay? 
But Scorpios are so freaking deep. So I'm saying, you know, all even the tough ones buckle. You'd have had some major hitters that's done fell under the depth of a Scorpio. Somebody's up for the challenge, though. Somebody say you crazy and you deep, but I want more of it. Help me how to go deep. Show me, show me, show me. Ooh, Scorpio. It says this card is an especially good sign for matters related to X money or a obsession you've been grappling with. Ooh, somebody is somebody is thinking about you because like I say, you got full moon in Gemini. It says embrace the flow of life. It could be somebody need to get control of their thoughts because you got new moon in Aries. Go for it. You got first quarter moon in Aquarius. Trust the universe. See, this is something somebody's going to have to close their eyes and go forward because the death that they want, it's almost like, you know, they say the death. Let's, let's say if, if, if Scorpio's death is like an ocean, then that means that's considered the, uh, the hard side of life, you know, the unknown. You know, don't nobody go down there, man. When you go down there, we don't see you no more, man. I'm telling you, you're never coming back. I guess when well, now, man, you can't go that deep. I'm telling you, you're not going to be able to see it down. Now, I'm telling you, man, man, I think it's time for me to go deep. They say, they, they say, but, but this is the thing. They say most of them people that went down in the depths of Scorpio, they've never been seen again on, on the surface level. But little do they know they are living, living like gods and goddesses in the deep parts of Scorpio. You're not going to recognize them because they, they didn't reach their full potential down there because they've been fed all that goodness. See, it's when they on the surface here, they, they, they don't want to eat the meat. You know, they're eating the chopped up meat. They, they're still eating baby food. They need to get ready to eat on something deep. OK, <laughs> so, yeah, now, now, yeah, I'm biased because I'm a Scorpio, but I know how deep you are. And I know how powerful your presence is. And I know even how more powerful, even more powerful your absence is. All right. So don't get it effed up. <laughs> it's almost Scorpio season. We're just saying. So it says manifesting mindset. Know that you are magic. It says clear out negativity to supercharge your manifesting power, Scorpio. See? It's about you. It's about what you believe. It's about you, Scorpio. Because remember, you got justice. Justice is here. It's going to be fair. It's going to be balanced. The universe is making sure don't nobody come in here with that mess. It's almost like, look, it's the, the energy is charged for things to work out in your favor. So let's see for Scorpios. <laughs> Justice, just the two of us, we can make it. it. Ooh, just the two of us, you and I. Da na 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 the lovers someone may have had to choose between you and someone else but clearly you win hands down and it could also represent that somebody because you remember we saw that actually somebody's into you they want you some type of bad could be someone wanting to make things right so don't come for me if somebody want to make things right. You're getting a lot of attention on you. You got a lot of head. You got a lot of necks popping. You got folks doing double takes. You got folks who are obvious. You know, like like you walk past a person because I be knowing when I be walking in the store, but I don't want to. I don't want to talk. I don't want to say nothing. Just leave me alone, <laughs> please, people. Leave me alone. <laughs> and and I be walking in Walmart. I be pushing my basket. And I already be knowing who gonna look and all this stuff. And they will walk past you in your face. And then before they even turn around, good, they looking back. And I be like, ugh. I worked out today, though. I don't care. I'm at the point now. I'm happy with what I got. It may not be everybody's, but then again, I'm not for everybody because everyone is not for me. But if you don't find something beautiful about yourself, look at that Empress card showing up. See, 
But some of you guys, you got this aura about yourself, honey, where you don't care about what people say or do. You're like Miss Sook, Mrs. or Mr. Suki Suki. See? Look at that. You got a lot of that chemistry coming all at you and your pores, you, you, you burping, you coughing, you sneezing, your effervescence. Then it flies in the universe. And it start bringing those other folks in. You got, you got out of town and they're like, <laughs> they're going to sniff you out, god dang it. I'm talking about whatever that is, that, that, that's flying in the, in, the, in the heavens here. That ain't just no earthly scent. That goes far, okay, because it's spiritual too. Ooh. It's almost like somebody get a whiff of something and you don't, it's like a smell you've never smelled before. I feel like that's, that's like, I just feel like it's just like the world is just full of all these innumerable cells and lines and they're all charged up and you steady tapping into they, this line. Eh, if that didn't work, you tap on over there, you know, because you got all these different options that you can tap into, but you don't know. You just drawn to light. Y'all just like to light, light, light. Then when you get to that light, you're like, oh, it's dark. Or you start off in the light, then you y'all allow y'all y'all light to go dark because of the the uh, the karmic lessons that you're gonna learn, and then you finally pull off of that circuit and you go get attached to another circuit, and you're just gonna keep on doing it and doing it and doing it until you find the right fit for you, the right connection that's gonna keep you. Even when the light goes out, you still can recharge it again. Or, you know, you can recharge it and repair it and you could come together and learn from it and actually um, live that life that you've always desired and fantasized about. Because just like there's a lot of not so good marriages and relationships, there's a lot of good ones, too. It just depends on what you and your person agree to, because it takes two. So there could be choices here. It could also represent that there's just see, look at that. See, Ooh, they go to eight of cups. But some of y'all, somebody may be choosing to walk away from another situation in order to be with you because they rather they like your deafness. And then for others, somebody just love your deafness. They're just attracted to you. Somebody's coming in to balance the scales because somebody know they want you. Somebody is into you. They're attracted to you. Someone loves everything. Somebody likes how you walk. Ooh, but you got the empress there. So somebody may have some choices or you could have choices. You got the Empress, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Cups here. Ooh, I was trying not to see that, but there it is. Three of Swords, third party energy. Seven of Cups in reverse. Somebody's walking, and there they go right there, Scorpio, the Knight of Wands. See? Karma, see? What goes around, come back around. Somebody wants to make it right, or somebody's receiving karma. Knight of Wands. Seven of Wands here. See, somebody had a choice to make here, Scorpios. I feel like somebody is saying that they want to go deeper with you because I feel like you are. You got the Empress here. I know that's you. You're the Empress, the Queen of Cups. Somebody had a Queen of Wands here. It's almost like somebody's leaving another situation for some of y'all because they want to make things right with you. Because somebody may have just been a player. So let's see. <clears throat> Why is the lovers here for Scorpios? It could be a Gemini. Why is the lovers here? Choices, decisions, soulmate energy, romantic partners. See, two of Pentacles. Somebody was juggling. But somebody was listening to their ego with the King of Wands in the reverse. Somebody thought that they had it going on. Somebody was toxic with the Devil card. See, somebody kept their options open. With the seven of cups, somebody was de delusional. They were fooling themselves. Somebody thought that they were going to last forever, but they was just a fool. Because every, every, every toxic thing got a day, got its day. Uh, your beautiful life got, a day got its day too. There's the chariot. Somebody's moving away from this though. Somebody's moving away from indecisiveness, being cocky because... Something only brings confusion for somebody here. And somebody's realizing that having a, more than one option is not as fun as they thought it was going to be. Because I feel like the best part is gone. And I know that's probably you. See, five of wands. 
in the reverse, someone feels defeated because, see, there's a new opportunity coming your way, though. What's up with this queen? What's up with the three of swords for Scorpios? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, three of swords. Justice, uh, the Empress, Queen of Wands. King of Wands, Five of Wands, Knight of Wands. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody pulling back from a third party. See? Somebody's changing their mind about a situation that they, they once had pleasure in. See? Somebody's running away from a situation here because they done lost money. And they it's something that they invested in all that time. Nothing came. So somebody waking up. Somebody's waking up because somebody's been allowing themselves to just wait around on something that did not end up being nothing. You got the seven and the eight of pentacles. It may have been fun, but it wasn't it wasn't helping somebody. See, somebody's gonna wake up or somebody is waking up because they're they're going deep. See? Ten of Pentacles. And the hyphen in the reverse. So something, somebody didn't, I feel like somebody was hanging on to a situation and it didn't go nowhere. It could have, but it it's like it wasn't supposed to go nowhere because somebody got caught up in a lesson with this judgment, but somebody's actually finally waking up here. Now, what's up with this uh, seven of cups in the reverse? Seven of cups, somebody's coming out of the uh, the illusions. Someone is walking away from confusion and uh, many people are keeping their options open because somebody's realizing that, like I said, that don't make you happy because you got multiple people you can run, run back and forth to. Somebody hurt you too with that knight of swords. See, seven of cups, ace of swords. So someone is gaining clarity about leaving something out in the cold. Someone could be gaining clarity, Scorpio, why you left them out in the cold because, and, and now they get it. And for some of you guys, you've turned a blind eye to them now. Somebody may be getting it after the fact when it's too late, see? And there is temperance, see? Somebody may be realizing how much balance you brought into their life, Scorpios. Once again, Scorpio, you may have met somebody when they was a wreck. Could have been a narcissist here. Could be a Sagittarius. Why is the Seven of Cups in the reverse for Scorpios? What's this about? Go deeper for Scorpio. What is this? See? Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. See? I feel like it's this person here who is stressing out here. See? Because there go the devil. Somebody had issues and they go to lovers in the reverse. See? It's another lover. See? But I guarantee you, you're the you're the one that's still standing because you're the empress. Of, let's see, what's up with this Queen of Wands? For Scorpio, clarify the Queen of Wands. Then we're gonna do that Knight of Wands. Clarify the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. So one could have been dealing with a, a fire sign and you, this water sign, and it, all of these could be you. You could just could have been dealing with somebody here who was just out here living records. Look, they go to Knight of Wands again in the reverse. See. See, and there go the freaking three of cups and there go the devil. Now, this could have been them putting you in a friends with benefits situation with the queen of wands because you got the empress here. See, the knight of wands in the verse, they were very, very cocky, immature. Look, three of cups. So this probably was a, a, a toxic connection here. See, and there go the three of swords, but the three of swords keep showing up. It's some, this, a, this a third party. This is a third party right here. See? Wow, Scorpio. So yeah, that's the third party. Y'all got somebody dealing with a third party. But I feel like something is changing. Well, one more card here. Just seeing the King of Swords. See? The Sun card. Something is coming to the light about this. Somebody's in, enlightened because you got judgment. See, somebody's realized that they were stuck on this other situation here, but they ignoring you is what I feel like. So what's up with this Queen of Cups for Scorpios? Perfect. Now, the Knight of Wands. Now, Queen of Cups. What's up the Queen of Cups? Let's get the ladies out the way. <laughs> Clarify the Queen of, Wands, Queen of Cups for Scorpios. Three of Wands. Death. Some of y'all turned y'all some of y'all turned y'all back on this person and you looking out there for something new. And you waiting, you ready for love. And somebody ain't broke you. Some of y'all found y'all self. So you're getting a lot of tension here on you. Six of Wands. I feel like you have rose out of the ashes. But somebody's going to have a problem with you leaving them. You may have blocked somebody. They go to Hermit card. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Somebody who didn't want to go deep with you in the past. Probably missing that they ain't now. 
But there's somebody you left alone, Scorpio. What's up with this Queen of Cups? Six of Wands, I see a lot of victory, a lot of attention. You could be dating. I see you guarded, standing your ground, blocking, standing in your power, not backing down. So some of you guys are not going to uh, see because they go to magician cards. See? Mm, the magician. What the heck is this? Is this you? Some of y'all dealing with somebody that got, got something going on with somebody from their past. They got a hold on this person through magic. Because there go the magician card. But some of y'all, Scorpio, somebody is fighting you spiritually because they doing magic on your person. Why is the Queen of Cups here? They go death though, but I feel like it's over. So you're out of it. You're not in the way. And this could easily be you with this C. I feel like you're done with the past. And you're manifesting something better, but somebody doing something. They go to a high priestess here. Somebody may be dealing with a high priestess here, Scorpio. And it don't mean that they know you specifically. It's just like somebody, it's just like if it's a third party, the third party wants the person for themselves. So they doing magic on him so or her. So it's going to come in between you. So for some of y'all, y'all got out the way. And what's going to happen is if this person was using magic on your person, then it's about to come off of them because they waking up. And they're not going to want that person no more. See, they're going to run away from that person. See, it's like they're going to wake up and come to their senses. They're going to haul tail. And I feel like they're going to be coming back to you after they didn't get this. Like the resurrection, a rebirth. Because they were asleep. But see, that's coming back around here. See, it's like waking childhood is coming back around. It's like waking back up. Because of that judgment card. Wow. But see, the reason why this is happening to your person is because they were toxic too. They're in the night of ones in the reverse. What they say, look, see that, you know, sometimes when you listen to you, when you don't want to go deep because you don't want to get to know someone, you're on the surface, that's, that's sometimes that's, that's what it gets you. Some of these men and some women too, they don't want to get deep with you. That's, that's the only way you're going to get to know somebody. I feel like somebody never wanted to get deep, but they was under somebody's spell the whole time because they didn't even know who they were with. Ooh, but that's part of their karma. That that, that situation is going to help them wake up. It's kind of like scared straight or scared awake. Knight of Wands. What's up with this Knight of Wands? For Scorpio, it's perfect. The Knight of Wands. Somebody here who was busy, but Lisa's in the up right now. So what this mean? Mm, see, they want you. See, they were with that toxic person. I'm telling you, but this person waking up out of there, and now here they are. They they coming back to their senses. See. Six of Pentacles. Some of y'all, your person stopped giving to you because they under this person. See, told you. I told you who they choose. See, see. I mean, yeah, you can put spell work on folks and, and hinder them, but the heart wants what the heart wants. They go to Queen of Cups. That's that person. But some of y'all block this person. Knight of Wands. See, somebody know they dealing with an empress though. They in love with you. But somebody was because of because of their own cockiness, their own pride, they lust, they got caught up. But they, they but that was only for a season. See the world. This person coming back to work things out with you, but this person moving in silence. They ain't they ain't letting that other person know what they're doing. They, so this is why somebody here is gonna escape this person here. They getting away from that person. So now you got the Empress. What's up with the Empress for Scorpios? Libra energy, goddess energy, femininity, uh, fertility, birth. Could be a mother. Somebody could be expecting now. Someone could see you as the person who could have children with them. Ooh, somebody may have had children with this person here. Oof. It could be somebody finally rushing in to tell, somebody could be finally rushing in to tell you the truth that somebody got pregnant by somebody. Look, I hate I'm saying that too, but look, there go that queen of wands and that five of cups. That queen of wands is close. Telling y'all, y'all, this person, whoever this person is, they stay close. I'm clarifying the empress. 
Somebody trying to block this person here too. This person could be trying to lie to the lie to your person, tell them that they got a, that they're pregnant. Ooh, Scorpio. Mm -mm. Now, why is the Empress here for Scorpio? Provide the Empress. Why is the Empress here for Scorpio? It says Scorpio, go deep. Y'all may be about to find a, a bunch of deep stuff. See? That's what I thought. Somebody's intimidated by you. I feel like somebody you're dealing with, their person is intimidated by you. You're probably holding back from this person. Why is the Empress here for Scorpios? And you know it's a soul, mate. But this person trying to come back to you, see? This person trying to come back to you, Scorpio. They trying, they fall in their heart, see? The King of Cups and the Ten of Cups, see? They say, can't nobody go deep like that. Ember's the Ember's gonna make you feel like you at home, see? But this person got somebody behind their back doing something. There it is, see? See, because this person don't want this person to be with you. So for some of y'all, this other person is trying to mimic you. Somebody trying to mimic you, Scorpio, but I feel like somebody is trying to is, is behind the scenes doing something because whoever they person is, I don't know if they watching your photos or they're intimidated by you. This person, somebody know that you are a threat, Scorpio. They know you are a threat with that empress and someone may be trying to put a baby off on your person because they was with that person. They was with that person now. So, you know, they, they had the wrong motives when they met that person. So that's why they came under that spell. But they're coming out of it because, you know, when you do something to folks against their will, because you got the magician card, that's only going to last so long. And then you got to deal with your own karma. But even though the spell work is no longer is not going to be working on your person, they're still going to be on this person tail here. Somebody don't want you with this person. They don't want them with you. They're jealous of you. And you probably ain't even studying that person. When you probably went on about your life and you're like, boys, they can have you. <laughs> Well, why are you fussing at me, ma'am? You can have him. I ain't chasing him. They're going to be chasing you. So why is justice here for Scorpios? Clarified justice could be a Libra. Clarified justice. Happy birthday to the Libras. If you are cross-watching for your Scorpios, clarified just us. Ten of one. See, somebody got a lot on their plate, but that's that's all the karma that they done uh, occur, occurred, okay? From whatever seeds that they've been planning, playing all these games and stuff, this person got a lot going on. The spirit say that's their justice, that's their karma here. See, this person finna come in here and offer you something real. This person know that you deserve everything. Scorpio, look at that. Knight of Pentacles. They go to Knight of Pentacles again and the Queen of Pentacles. See, three of wands, four of wands. Four of Wands, see somebody moving away from a karmic, but they moving kind of slow. But the reason why they moving kind of slow is they coming out of a fog. Somebody's been full of illusions for so freaking long they couldn't see well. There's somebody, but it was all of their karma because they were they weren't ish. But this person can see themselves building a relationship with you. For some of y'all, this person sees you. This person's planning in their mind because you got the Ten of Cups. But some of y'all, this person wants to have a family with you. It's like somebody want to hurry up and start a family with you and go get married so folks can leave them alone. They're like, oh, I'm married now. But I feel like somebody's spell work is not going to work no more, but they're going to still keep on trying to manipulate your person because somebody knows that you're the best this person could ever had. Somebody probably following your pictures. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for Scorpius? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. That's why I say go for it. It says embrace the flow of life. Somebody's embracing how they feel about you and their king of cups. See, knight of pentacles. They go to will of fortune. See, karma, fate, destiny written in the stars. Somebody got to face their fears because like I feel like somebody has been with this person for a very, very long time. And now somebody is used to a toxic relationship, but they're not used to healthy relationships. And this is new for them. Getting out of their head with all of the lies. See, they go to higher fence. See, someone has been, uh, somebody may have been listening to a lot of affirmations here. And somebody's been working on themselves behind the scenes and they're not telling their karmic person here. And like I said, this person going to secretly sneak out on this person. They may even go get some papers, a restraining order, something to make sure this person can't come around them. See a person moving in silence. The person don't want that other person. 
because they're coming to you, but they're not going to come to you the same way. Yeah, they're not going to come to you the same way. Someone has been dealing with a karmic for too long and, and they've been blocking this person, but it was part of their karma because they were they treated you bad. So why they thought they was getting away treating you wrong, they was being treated wrong too. But they're waking up, but what's going to help them wake up is because you know your work, you moved on. And please believe, every time you do your inner work and you grow from this Empress and this Two of Cups, it affects them too. Now it's up to them whether or not they answer the call, but for some of y'all, your person is going to answer the call and they're going to do it really, really fast. For some of y'all, they're just going to do it quietly. They're going to move fast, but they're going to move in silence, all right? All right, Scorpio, this is your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe.